you shuffle down. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Nine of Cups, and it's with the Two of Cups. Whoa, a lot of love. Cups and cups, love means love, love, love. Nine of Cups. Your person feels, well, they felt like you were their dream come true. Because we're talking about the recent past energy. Yeah, you were this person's. They felt like you were something they wished for and they finally got it. And the Two of Cups can be about the ideal partner. The connection felt like you were with the person that you were supposed to be with. Two of Cups. The ideal companion. It can be about a deep connection. It can be about a union. Yeah. So you were feeling really good. And so was your person about the connection. They thought you were their wish come true. They felt very blessed and satisfied to have you. Now, some of you were dealing with a cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces with all these cups here. Now, that's a really good recent past energy. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you at the Queen of Cups and is with the Hierophant. Now, the Queen of Cups. Whenever you see the Queen of Cups in a reading, or the King of Cups, it's all about love. What's in the cup? Love. Yeah, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, there's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when you get these two cards in a reading. The Queen of Cups can be a very healing, nurturing and supportive energy. Um, very kind, compassionate. And the Hierophant, the card that's below the word present, it can be a very genuine type of person. The Hierophant walks the walk, they talk the talk, they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Um, there's no games being played with the Hierophant. No, not at all. The Hierophant can be known as the marriage card. So, this person, they, they're they still deeply invested into you and the connection. Uh, they could be reaching out to you with a lot of love. And they could be showing you or you could start to feel that they, they, want, they want to keep things real with you. They want to be genuine. You can start to feel that this person is, is serious. They're not playing any games. Yeah, they could be getting on a bended knee. Yeah, could be marriage here with the Hierophant. Yeah, a lot of love this person has for you. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. we got the Ace of Cups. And it's with this Six of Cups. So, the Ace and the Tarot can be about new beginnings. This one is a cup. So, once again, you got, oh, you got all cups here. A lot of cups in this reading. One, two, three, four, five cups. Somebody's in love. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. This much love I'm getting is to both of you in love. With all this love here. So, Six of Cups, the card that's below the word challenge, can be about being nostalgic, looking back on how things used to be. It can be sometimes connected with children or childhood. So... For some of you Aries, you're looking back on how things used to be, but 
for some of you Aries, you could have someone that you used to be with making a return, wanting a new beginning or a fresh new start with you. For some of you, you still have someone that you used to be with that's still emotionally attached to you. And they could be reaching out to you with this Ace of Cups here. Yeah, I, I, I got two storylines, so I had to say say what I was what I was getting here. For a lot of you, Aries, I'm getting that there's someone. Yeah, someone from the past could be making a return. Yeah. You know what, I'm getting another, another download here. You could be, wow, you got love for the person that you're with. They got love for, for the person. You've got love for the person you're with, and the person that you're with, this Hierophant has a lot of love for you. Now, for some of you, you could still be holding someone else in your heart, or you could be thinking about someone else. Someone's someone from the past is coming back, or you could be thinking about someone from the past. Put it this way: the roles can be switched. So this six of cups could be you, or someone that you used to know. Yeah, for some of you, you're holding on. You're still holding on to someone from the past, or someone is doing this to you. They could be reaching out, or you could be reaching out to them. Yeah, being emotional. Maybe expressing feelings. Yeah, that's something because you're already involved with someone that wants to keep things real with you. And they've got a lot of emotions for you. So yeah, I'm getting two people in this reading here. Two people for you, Aries. But let's see what the outcome is. So we got this... Three of Swords, and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. So, Knight of Pentacles is a very slow, stable, steady type of energy. This is a card below the word outcome. Yeah, this person that's trying to make a return. Um, yeah, you could be telling them that it's too late. They move too slow. Knight is a slow energy, but it's stable and it's civilized. They could be, this person could be wanting to, from the past, could be wanting to make a return. But they came, they came back too late. You're already invested emotionally with someone else. And showing this person is going to be hurt with the Three of Swords here. Yeah, if this is someone making a return to you. It's going to be too little, too late. They could be letting you know that they want something s stable with you this time. But it's too little, too late. They move too slow. Night is slow. But here they come. Someone from your past. And you're already involved with someone that you got emotions for. Yeah. So, this past person... It looks like with this ugly three of swords here, um, there's hurt here. And they, they're going to try to have to figure out how to detach themselves. How to detach from this, this, these feelings that they have for you. Yeah, because the cup is here. This person still has love for you. This person trying to make a return. But... You could be telling them that you've moved on. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself. Best case scenario, 
And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the, ex for the next Aries reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people, they can be switched. I mean, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.